Welcome back, guys, to Factorio Meiosis. This is episode number 36. Last time we did some exploration with our radar rampage strategy, and I, I actually realized afterwards, after the fact, while I was editing the video, that radars aren't actually that much bigger of a radius of vision to reveal the fog of war than just your personal area of vision. So it probably would have been better to just run through there without worrying about the radars, but it did add an extra layer of challenge, and I think it was fun. Anyway, even though not that useful, story of my life, right? So today we are going to, in fact, take over the area we explored last time. In fact, I've already done most of it, and I've basically got it down to a science. I've probably said that before, but my, my strategies and my tactics and my loadout continues to adapt and evolve. So here's what uh, I'm running currently. I'm always trying new things. I've got three legs, three uh, fusion reactors, two batteries. I've These got buffed in the last patch. I never really uh, started using them. I've started using them now. And six shields. Used to run seven shields. Or no, I only ever ran six because uh, I, couldn't f I couldn't fuel seven with three re reactors and three legs. Yeah, I know some people only run two fusion reactors. I tried that, and I found that I was running out of juice, even with the batteries, over the long haul. Uh, okay, so this is what we're going to do. Here is my, my current strategy. I, I don't even turret creep anymore. I only bring in the turrets to advance the... Uh, you can see these walls. This is about the range that I clear out by myself with my flamethrower and all my robos, my destroyer capsules, and my distractor capsules... I destroyed all of this, and then I advanced the wall that much. Then I destroyed all of that, and I advanced the wall that much. Much faster than it used to be when I couldn't afford all these robots. Okay, so there is a little group here. We're just going to run in here and murder all these without even using robots yet. That's all it takes. They're dead. And then we'll just leave those guys be. I mean, we might spit some uh, fire at them, and I'm not using any robots yet. So they would have gotten murdered by that, and if they happen to run south, they will just run into my turret line. If they get stuck there, who cares? Uh, what we want to do is... They're still following me. What we want to do is we want to take at least up to here, build a diagonal wall between this bit of water and this bit of water here. I want to see how far this extends. Are they coming? Yeah, uh, let's just deal with them. Okay, shotgun. In your own time. Uh-huh. That's why I use the flamethrower now. So I want to take all this. Eventually, we will connect up our rail system to have a loop around this big lake, but at first, we'll just... Uh, we won't do that quite yet. I want to take this much and see how far that water goes, and then we're going to backtrack down here and take advantage of this bottleneck. And I'll actually maybe do something like this. I'm not sure. Oh, look at all this. More oil stuff. I'm never going to run out of oil. Okay. But we definitely want to take over this and use this bottleneck and this bottleneck. So let's get working. Gonna summon 130 destroyer capsules, the maximum I can hold. In the next patch, they're actually going to be adding infinite research for this type of thing and a few other things. So I think robots, construction robot speed is going to be an infinite research item, which is going to be really crazy. Robots are getting a huge buff through that. So, basically, I'm just going to run through here. Spam the distractors. When my health gets too low, we just run out. And I've just melted an entire base there. My, uh... Shields are respawning. Oh, I, uh, I reduced the autosave time back down to two minutes. While I'm doing this kind of thing. I buffed it up to eight minutes, so it doesn't get in the way so often. Which has actually come back to bite me a few times as I've been hit by a train after building a bunch of stuff and then have to go back and like redo six or seven minutes of solid building which is annoying but oh well it doesn't happen that often it just tells me to be more careful but while we're doing this I've got it set to two minutes so if I do happen to die if I push my luck too much and we're down to let's see we're down to 80 destroyers time to back off a little bit health's getting low what was I saying? Oh yeah, um, if I push my luck too much, we'll only have a few minutes to redo. Okay, here we go. Let's actually start with the destroyers. Get melted, suckers! This is basically how it goes. And then we'll switch back to the distractors. It's very important 
especially with all the worms, that you're spamming distractors 100% of the time when you're just marching forward. A wall of spinning flame, that's what I am. But the distractors are absolutely necessary, otherwise my health would be dropping much, much faster. And the night's falling already. I don't run, um, night vision. So it will get dark. We can back off a bit and see what we did. So we just cleared out like this much. And we're not done yet. I'm just gonna keep going through the night. Maybe once the sun comes up, I'll uh, record another short clip. All right, the sun has come up and I'm still on my murder and spree. All right, time to back off a bit. Go ahead and spam out some destroyers while we're letting our shields regenerate. Let's run over here, swing around to the left. Melt all these guys. This is this is basically at this point seems fairly um it's fairly straightforward and it, it's not that difficult. Before I could afford this much stuff and before they buff batteries, I guess maybe. Before the flamethrower, doing this kind of thing was basically impossible and you had to turret creep. So, especially with this type of map, where the all the biter settings are set to maximum, and we've had a uh, we've had the evolution factor maxed out forever. Um, this would be so much slower, and I'm, re I'm really happy that I can clear this much space this quickly, and we can get back to some uh, some productive building once I've cleared out enough. Oh, we're getting real low on destroyers there. Got to peek down to the bottom right. That's very important to keep uh, this ever-growing army of. Worms chase, or not worms, but the uh, the bugs chasing me. The destroyers are very important to keep them kind of at a respectable number, or a manageable number. I'm just marching straight through. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, aliens? What you gonna do? You you guys have failed to pay your rent one too many times. You are officially evicted from this subcontinent. Oh, I, did I miss area? Or is this just aliens? Yeah, I missed the little guy right there. All right, you're dead. Suck it. Swinging north, we are rounding the bay. And we're not that far from the other edge of our base, which is pretty cool. And since I can clear area so fast now, uh, this base is going to expand very quickly. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned. I don't, no, I'm pretty sure I did not mention. Also off camera. I plopped down, just for funsies. No, nah, actually, it wasn't just for funsies. It was um, because we're going to need them. I plopped down an additional 10,000 solar panels. So we're now sitting at 30,000. And I'll probably just plop them down 10k at a time, here and there. Maybe even every episode. Until we get around to maybe 200, 300, 400,000 solar panels. <laughs> Something ridiculous like that. I think would be a good number to have. Be above and beyond anything that's actually practical. Because once you start doing something, why not just overdo it until there's no reason to be doing it anymore, and then you just keep doing it. Okay, a little autosave. Haven't died yet. I haven't died in forever. I'm kind of curious what my stats are, how many of these bugs I've murdered. It's probably a pretty big number at this point. No oh, ho, there it went. Okay, I got a little bit too greedy. 132,000 big spitters killed. 94,000 big biters. 74,000 behemoth spitters. 53,000 behemoth biters, etc., etc., on down the line. Oh, and I've murdered 29,982 trees. It's listed twice. Okay, is there two types of trees? The number's almost exactly the same, though. The other one's like 300 smaller. I don't know what that means. Oh, there's another tree down below. 9,060. And then going down red tree, six... Wow, man, I am just a... I'm on a tree rampage right now. Dead, dry, hairy tree. That's uh, that's an unfortunate tree, I think. Dead, dry, hairy tree. Wow. 913. 310 of whatever kind of tree... They need to maybe um put some adjectives on these so we know what they are. Or just name them like spruce, birch, whatever. Distractor? Oh, I've murdered some distractors. Awesome. I've murdered some rocks, 172. I've blown up 104 chests, which is my way of removing wood from the world in bulk. I've blown up lasers and lamps and defense. It's probably a lot of these from hitting uh, with my car, running them over. More trees, 9-9. Nine, nine. 
Brown tree. Oh, good. Adjectives. Lovely. I've run over eight solar panels, etc. So this is basically what happens next. I've cleared out a massive wave of aliens, and we're just gonna plot along in the car and occasionally place down a power pole with some turrets around it just to protect it in case some of the stray stray guys happen to uh, happen upon it. We don't lose all of our turrets that this guy is going to uh, advance for us or provide power for us. Let's take a look at the map after I place this guy. Oh, okay. Uh, did they... J I think they just placed that. That was not there a moment ago, unless I didn't see it, because I don't have radars here yet. And speaking of which, um, let's place a radar. Oops, uh, what happened here? Place. Okay, um, so let's get rid of the robo ports. Let's blow these guys sky high. All right, distractors will be uh, a good idea, I think, right here. How did I... Maybe I just missed it. It's possible, I guess. But I think they might have... Uh, maybe I left a bunch of the biters standing around, and they might have just formed a new base right there. That's why these power poles have turrets. Okay, guys, yeah, come uh, come try out this turret. Oh, get wrecked. Oh, there's a lot of them. Uh oh. Uh, okay, we're going to need repair packs. Repair that stuff. All right. All right, good. All right, little update arena, little update aru. Expand it all the way out here to this little bottleneck. Now we're gonna take it, we're gonna wall it off. Let me grab some extra stuff. And that is the proper blueprint. So we'll go right to the edge. Right there looks good, as long as we've got the uh, those copper areas right beneath me. Oh, I need to swap out my loadout. All right, let's get this done quick. So let's go with five robo ports. Let's keep one shield in reserve. It should connect up to there, but uh, if it doesn't, we'll connect it up for it. It should anyway when we do this one. Yoinks! Yep, okay, good. Lovely, there goes my destroyer robots. I will eventually come over here and uh, add in the, the robo ports and the construction robots and the um, passive provider chest with the, or just storage chest, whatever I have to uh, supply these guys with storage chests or supply with uh, laser turrets and walls and power poles and anything else that the biters might destroy. Those villainous biters. Oh, this is a kind of a bad spot. That's, that's kind of awkward. Uh, maybe we can just do this. And let's grab some walls and just make sure that this is totally walled off. So nothing can path around that edge. Okay, good enough. Pick up these trees. There we go. Okay, so it's kind of dark, but the map screen doesn't care. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's drop down some radars. Then we'll look at our newly expanded empire continuing to grow. I think uh, one radar at either edge of this wall here will be good. Keep out these vile invaders, aka natives, aka innocent bystanders. Auto save. Bloop, bloop. All right, so we've taken this. That's a pretty good bottleneck. Um, I keep seeing all these really appealing oil spots, but we've got so many now. There's this little guy just on the other side of our, our existing wall. Then we've got this massive mamma jamma right there. Uh, I have to come back here and clean out the, the leftovers. There are some big ones there, but uh, we're going to make a wall kind of like diagonal right there. And then straight right there. Because this amount of oil is going to last me. And you know what? I haven't actually looked to see what the saturation is like on these oil wells. Typically, the more little oil wells you get together, the, uh, the smaller the individual percentage is. So it kind of divides up the amount of potential oil in an area by oil wells in the areas. Yeah, see, this, this is only like 100%, 140%. Instead of like the 650s or whatever we were starting with because we were just getting one or two at a time. But it is still, it doesn't matter. It's still a ton. We won't be able to fit as many beacons in here, but this is going to be a ton of oil. Oh, hi. Uh, 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 oh. uh, right over here. Yeah, I need to clean these guys out. Oh, we got some more over here. Yeah, let me clean them up. Clean them up. 
Hey! There we go. Okie dokie, Artichoke. I got one section left to conquer, and then we can go back to building. I have fully expanded into this peninsula, subcontinent, whatever. This whole landmass over here is totally ours. I've got the walls up with the roboport so it's protected, and I only need to show up every once in a while to make sure the roboports still have repair packs, that kind of stuff. Our solar panel area continues to grow. So we've got this huge oil patch here to take over soonish. And I think we're just gonna leave it like this. I mean, there's always more water. We could always just keep going farther, but I think we wanna expand next northwards. So um, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna make a diagonal line kind of like this and up to here. Take up all that because uh, it just made sense with this big piece of water here. I was gonna have, oh, okay, there's the auto save. I was gonna have just a, a wall right here. But then I want to connect stuff, so uh, we need to kill some stuff. We need to kill some of these no good, good for nothing, ungrateful loafer locals. Where? What am I trying to do here? I want my shields. Okay, this is what I want. And let's switch to the lasers. Let's let that fill up. And it should soon be daytime. I've been uh, I tame timed that segment. So I started talking about the map stuff while it was like the middle of the night. By the time I get done, it should be daytime. All right, here we go. Spray and pray. Spin to win. Spin the mouse around in a circle around your character. Inch forwards. And when I get to about uh, like about a third of my health, I'll start running away. Okay, let's go take these guys out. Lay the foundation with some uh, distractors. Good. Just melt, melt them right in half. A few times I have had so many of these bugs trying to path towards me at once that it's gotten extremely laggy. It's only happened a few times. It is possible. I haven't had to use any kind of console command. I just end up killing them, I guess. Or they despawn. I'm actually not sure if the enemies despawn. I kind of assume they do. Okay, so I want to clear off all the stuff around this lake first. And actually, you know, um, as I was saying earlier, the radar rampage thing we did last episode, the radars aren't really necessary. So next time we want to explore, and we won't really need to expand for a while, because I've got quite a bit of territory now. But the next time we do, and eventually we will want to, uh, I can just not worry about the radars and just make a run for it. And see what we find. That should be fun. I might even do it for fun one of these days. Or maybe on a live stream or something. Because I've already made uh, several videos about killing aliens and expanding the borders and that kind of thing. And Whoop! Autosave! Okay, gives me a little breather. I don't really like to do that all the time unless I have some new take on it. Or we do it in a bigger, better way. Or, you know, that kind of thing. And I definitely haven't expanded this much in one episode before. So I guess, oh, we only got seven of these destroyers left. Okay, please don't melt me. Please don't melt me. Let's take out these guys, and then we need to start making our way back up to the right. Take out this. Whoa, no, no, no. I got go. Very close. That was close. Sistonian battle cry. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's see. That should be good, at least to do the initial uh, wall change, and then I, I might clean up some more after we see how close they are to the walls. From here, we can walk over to the right and clear out all of that. Oh. Okay, I think I am finally finished, at least for now. We just took a, a truly tremendous amount of real estate away from the ungrateful locals. So I will actually have to come back by here and push all of the uh, biter spawns further back away from the wall just so that we reduce our frequency of attacks. But like way up here where there's hardly any pollution anyway, probably won't get attacked that much anyway. We can now see a little bit of what's on the other side of this water. This water is actually really nice for if we ever expand up to here, we actually can uh, do something like this which wouldn't be too bad. I might go exploring, but we've done enough alien killing and expansion for quite a while. Time to get building. Next episode, we will, uh, I think we're gonna make 
logistics robots and robot frames and engines and all that kind of stuff. We're gonna try to get rid of the wrist, the rest, not wrist, the rest of the, the stuff that's in the uh, stem cell. And then we'll start thinking about the logistics, the infrastructure, or all the things that support launching rockets, which is the whole point, right? How many can you launch and how fast? And how many trains can you do? Can you, uh, whatever. How many trains? It, the end, period. That's the end of this episode, though. We took, you know, let me just show you as an overview. This episode, we took all of this, all of it, this little guy here, this entire landmass, ba blam, and then this guy here as well. So I think that's probably, I don't know, 30 or 40% of our total landmass now. We just took in one episode. All right. That's it. I'm going to take a break. And then we'll work on something next episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments below. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.